Hey everybody, I'm not great, and welcome back to After Image, where we're so close to the end. I can taste it. I can taste it and the delicious dinner that my wife Plum made me. Well, made for everybody in the house. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not special, but I, um, I enjoyed it. It was so good. It was delicious. It was simple. It was a magnificent. Anyways. When last we left off, we did the first six out of ten chapters of 42's journey. And now, across the desert in the misty waters is the Well of Hydru, the residence of Samsari, the Sentinel of Engarden, and Goliath of Reincarnation. By the cooperation between the Reincarnates and the Hydro Goliath, the girl managed to talk the Guide of Souls into helping her to rebuild Eros. Making sure that the ritual was a success, she walks up to Eros, hoping to find out the cure for her curse from the one who just woke up. Here we go! Oh, also, I guess today Blue Sky went, like, public, so I'm there. I don't know. Whatever. We'll see if it works out. Anyways, Eros, say hi. Hi. My head is aching. Where am I? Oh, is this a well of Hydro? Why am I here? Awake now? Your soul was damaged by the forbidden spell. Even if the well of Hydro is able to rebuild you, you require time to fully recover. Yeah, you went through a lot. You are the one who helped me at Rubywood Village. Thank you for helping me. But as a human, why was I able to be rebuilt from the well of Hydro? I placed your soul in a special vessel, and I used Regent 4 to stabilize it. Thus, I was able to rejuvenate you with the aid of Samsari before your soul collapsed. I'm 42. Subject number 42. Have you heard of me? Well, you did meet earlier, but that was kind of brief and Eros was dying, so maybe not. Too. So it's you. No wonder you can use crystallization spells on your own. Well, she is the answer to life, the earth, and everything. I was certain you've heard of me. Please inform me. Who am I? What exactly is the curse that afflicts me? How can I lift it? Pretty sure your curse is probably like humanity or something. I was responsible for overseeing the Ode back then and wasn't directly involved in that experiment. I don't know much about its intricacies. After the Animo Goliath stopped raining, humans lost their main source of energy, the dews. But the ongoing war forced us to find new methods to collect energy-rich materials. The experiment conducted on you was one of the methods we attempted. It is humans! I was right. And it's true that I can turn the power of stream and other souls into crystals. Is that crystal what you consider an energy-rich material? Energy exists in different forms in this world, but a select few materials are available to us. For example, powerful energy is stored in stream and lava, yet they can't be directly tapped like dew. Not to mention, they could harm us if we merely touch them. Crystals that you transformed, however, possess structures and features similar to dew. Hence, can be used directly after some necessary processing. That's why your power was a novel hope for humans back then. For me, it was a curse that brought me endless pain. I can't sustain my life with regular food. And the dews you mentioned had no effect. I could only live by devouring other souls. Oof. That was my only means of survival. And I hated myself for it. But should I swallow my hunger, the demon inside me would awaken and turn me into a stoppable monster. He would take me over and force me to do many cruel things. Nothing I attempted could lift that curse. I couldn't even end my life. That is some shit. My sympathies. I couldn't imagine the pain you were put through because of that experiment. I never thought that the other that fused with you is such a horrible and powerful being. What demon is it specifically? The demon of hatred, straight from Sekiro. The other? Yeah, the, the demon. 42. 
You were created by an experiment for fusing life. Your soul is from a human, and your crystallization power should originate from another being, which could be the demon. The one overseeing the experiment was my colleague, Master Mage Karen. She once told me that the experiment had failed a number of instances, as all human subjects were completely devoured by the subject they were going to fuse them with. That was until a transcendent mage assisted her and performed the last experiment with a deliberately separated pure soul. In that last attempt of fusion, you were thus born. Oh, I don't know how sound the science is if they only tried 42 times. Karen, could it be that my soul comes from her? Eros, do you know how to find her? On the other hand, doing that experiment 42 times is a crime against God and nature. I've never seen Karen since the raising. I'm uncertain if she's even alive. But you can journey to the lab in God's Hall to see if you can find more clues. Was where you were born. God's palace is deep below holy grounds. You can travel down there from Grand Archives. This is my Master Mage emblem. It should be able to grant you access to the lab. I hope I can find a way to cure the curse. Thank you, Eros. Let's go talk to Samsari. Thank you, Samsari. I am indebted to you. It's no bother, human. As a part of that song, you are essential. Perhaps you can change the flow of the world. It's a jellyfish fish. Is it fishy jellyfish? I don't know. Samsari looks awesome. That's all that matters. Again, you avoid speaking to me candidly. If you helped me, I may have rid myself of the curse long before. That was not my obligation. Besides, the flows of all souls are already engraved on the tablet. It is the will of Luca. I won't intervene unless compelled. <clears throat> You're telling that strange tale again. Never you mind. What must I do to clear my debt? It's not just about you this time. Do not fight your current. <sighs> then farewell. Yeah, bye. Oop. Was that the whole chapter? That was the whole chapter. All right. Chapter 8 now. The girl returned to Grand Archives of Holy Grounds, yet that mysterious mage who rules this place was nowhere to be found. God's Palace Underground is a place that went through the entire history of mankind. It's where the first drop of water appears in the world, where Luca created the whole end garden. Will she find the clues she needs there? Let's find out. I like clues. Alright, where are we at? Cool. Yeah, we know what to do. Ooh, maybe we can get that treasure. Oh, yeah, you died quick. Great. Oh, you're not gonna let me even try to get the treasure, are you? Well, I guess we can get it with... Renee. Yes, please die. I gotta get used to this joystick. Ah, no! Don't suck me down there. I'm not ready yet. Oh, God. Well, that was a surprise. Uh, let's see. Which way did we need to go? To the left. Equipment. It's more complex than any of its ilk in the Institutes. What were humans studying here? 
And there's that strange, familiar feeling. That old, familiar feeling. Um, can we go left? Will it let us? Kind of. Alright, or we could go right. I think right is going to be the way to go. This is probably that door right there. Uh, but let's see what's to the left. Yep. Ha! Called it. Yep, this is the way. Ow. Oh, wow, it actually hurt. Here we go. Ah. There we go. The music here is beautiful. Whatever other issues I have with the game, there are a lot of beautiful things in it. Hey, we're back in the air. Anything over here? No. I do wish we had HP regen. We have all of our other stuff, but we do not have HP regen. Hello. It feels delicious. Um, to the right, and then let's see if there's anything here that we can kill or collect. Oh, nice. That the creepy looking kitty? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Love you too. Alright, I'm plum filling me in on some pal world hijinks. So, this is ah. what that place Eros told me of looks like. Uh huh, knew it. Boss fight? Boss fight. Report 4-1. Master Karen has affirmed that Stage 3 of the experiment was a success. It is true that only a soul like that one could contain the power of the worm. Report 4-2. Subject number 42 has remained stable for 30 days. Mayhaps we've actually met success this time. Report 4-3. We were unable to duplicate said success, but number 42 has performed far beyond expectations. Ever since the Anemo Goliath stopped raining, we, humans, created dues on our own for the first time. Report 4-4. Number 42 is able to control crystallization powers if the proper cost is paid. Compare with the losses of the war, however, it was well worth it. Number 42. All the records are about me. So I was indeed born in this place. Seems like it. And there's another journal behind this one. It beggars belief that the cloud worm I returned from that tower carries the code for the Hemigoliath. Only subject number 42 can fuse with the Hemigoliath and remain stable. Her soul must have inherited her glory. Methods for mass production? One, remove the cloud worm from subject 42 and restore a separate cloud worm. Two, attempt to fuse the cloud worm with more subjects. Three, attempt to duplicate the cloud worm. Four, Master Karen has drawn up a complete method for theoretically separating the cloud worm from the subject. Should the separation experiment fail, however, we mayhaps never recover. If the subject or the cloud worm is damaged during separation, we will completely lose all of the key achievements we've made. We have little chance of acquiring a second cloud worm. What's even more critical is that the subject number 42 she gave us. Even more irreplaceable in some sense. They are still arguing about the cloud worm. 
How dare they request for even more of the Great One? Only I saw what she had become after that sacrifice, a more pure and transcendent being, perfect enough to be the light to all humans. I believe that we don't need to wait for that old god who will never return. All this time, the savior that humans hope for is right before our very eyes. Ah! Hey, I was reading that. This is not the end of your journey. The Transcendent One awaits you elsewhere. Hey. The Journal! Damn you! Yeah, fuck you. We just wrecked her day. Masterful use of that power. You are truly a part of her, but. How so? Hey, yeah. What the hell? For the minuscule cost, I can escape even the power of the Cloud Worm. You know of the Cloud Worm as well? Tell me, how can I rid myself of it? The solution is in that journal. But I have destroyed it. Yeah, we saw that, ass. Damn! And garden raised, what are you after? Please, remember that the Transcendent One awaits you elsewhere. Transcendent again? Who is that? Era said that I'm part of them, so what does it mean she awaits me? Yeah, seriously. Hmm? There seems to be something in the crystal cage. What did she leave behind? A key. The mark on it. It's the Anemo Goliath? Why would that guy carry a key with the mark of Anemo Goliath? The journal mentions that the Cloud Worm was returned from a tower. Could that be the Albedo Tower that leads to the field of Anemo? Maybe. And this seems to have some relation to the Anemo Goliath as well. And that Kirin who brought the Cloud Worm back, she knew the technique that separated me from the Cloud Worm. Yet not even Eros knows if she's still alive. Hmm. Seems I must travel to the Sky Palace first and try to locate the Goliath of Anima. Well, time for another chapter. Yeah, okay, good. Oh, we're going through these so fast. This is a stark contrast to the main game, which was not. Chapter 9. The mysterious female who called herself the Guider dropped a key which has a mark that resembles the clue from the research journals, leading to the field of Anemo Goliath, Sky Palace. The girl turned upon the backtrack and aims for where her answer might be in a hurry. Let's do it. Straight into a boss fight? Okay, good. <laughs> that was like... Wow, that was not even not even any foreplay, huh? Do I feel bad about just skipping everything? No, I don't.
Can I not? Nope. Okay, fine. Oh. <laughs> Damn you. Yeah. Suck it, bird. Let's see, where are we? This is a dead end. Unless we're heading to that room. Oh, we, maybe we are heading to that room. I remember there was a thing up there. Hmm? The key. Is it resonating with the gate? And this key is related to both the Anemo Goliath and that guider. Perhaps I could find the clues I seek behind this gate. Anything over here? No. Um, where are we? Way the hell out here in the middle of nowhere. Alright, I saw an enemy up there, so... believe that a place like this would exist beyond the Albedo Tower. Was this place also created by God? Probably not. I've heard that there's a so-called forbidden grounds by the Scions in the field of Anemo. Mayhaps this is it. Oh god. Well that hurt a bit. There we go. Ow. Oh, big boy. Gotta fight the big boy. Okay, you weren't too bad. The door and floor are covered in magic circles. Why would humans engrave them, though? Alright, well, not getting through there. At least not right now. All 
Alright, well there would be a tree up here. Probably open that door. There we go. Okay. Oh shit. Oh god. Okay. God, and the screen is having trouble tracking my movement right now for some reason. This place is dangerous. I okay. I'd feel better if I had more than just ranged attacks, but it is what it is. Jeez. Oh God. Jeez, okay, yeah, everything here is as strong as shit. Crap, I'm... Wow. 
wow. Okay. What? Bullshit. Got an obsidian core. Yay. Bullshit! Ah, damn it. You made a rock in midair. Made a rock in mid-air. I am not impressed by this. Splashed on the spear, and it hasn't completely congealed. All right, um, I don't know what that means, but okay. the aura. Does this stream beneath my feet lead directly to the Sea of Souls? Maybe it does. Welcome Hi. to my lair. Hi, Karen. Who are you? Why is there a human within the Anima Goliath's Forbidden Grounds? I am Kareem, your creator number 42. Why have you kept me waiting? You're the one who's masterminded all this? Then you ought to know the reason. Why? Do you truly want to reject my gift? Alas, you've never understood its value. If you still want your life, tell me immediately how to rid my body and soul of the Cloud Worm. In the war, the Goliath of the Nemo stopped granting Ingard in the rains. Dews came in short supply and the humans would have inevitably been defeated by the Goliaths of Pyro. From then on, we swore to discover our own method to create dues with our own hands. Hence, I snuck into the field of Anemo in search of the secret behind the dews. Eventually, I discovered the Cloudworm. It is a Hemi Goliath created by Luca. Who can transform streams and other forms of life into crystals known as dews, which contain life force. She's saying this like we don't already know. 
Although I did manage to bring back a cloudworm, I had no way of controlling nor directly using it. But you, number 42, you are the only perfect subject to fuse the cloudworm and exploit its powers without being consumed. Perfect? Do you think I'm perfect now? As a monster who can only survive by constantly devouring others' lives, that hunger in my soul, it tortures me always. Once let loose, it quickly turns me to a beast enslaved by instinct. It is no gift at all, but an inextricable curse. Well, hopefully not entirely inextricable, because we want to strick it. Or extric it. We want to extric it. Am I fighting Karen? Yes, I am. You're so dead, lady. Got her. Your emotions mean nothing when compared to the survival of all humanity. <laughs> I'll never tell you how to get rid of the cloud worm. Has it faded what other abilities your gift has given me? After I devour your soul, your memory will give me the answer. Seems like a pretty major oversight there, Karin. Trying to escape into your soul field? Seems you've forgotten about my crystal cage. Alright, chapter 10. The girl collected her thoughts. She started to think that if she did devour Karin's soul, would she be absolutely sure to find the memory she needs? After all, Karin's soul is much more complicated and powerful than that empty vessel of the Ode. In her hesitation, the girl found something new deep inside the room. An ancient teleportation circle with the emblem of the Anemo Goliaths. Sure, let's knock it out. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Bearer of Cloudworm, you have broken the pivot seal of Negredo Tower, enabling me to hear the sea of souls in my dreams again. As a token of my gratitude, I may help you accomplish your wish. I would appreciate that. Nobody else is really... Like, we, we could use a hand. I am known as the Goliath of Anemo. You may call me Atmos. Hi, Atmos. The Goliath of Anemo? Where are you, Atmos? How do you know what I desire? I am speaking to you through this mirror of reality. Or, to be more specific, projecting my thoughts directly into your soul. And of course, I can hear you and Kareen through this mirror. I can sense the cloud worm in your soul. Okay, real fast. There's a really creepy black thing at the bottom center of the screen. 
that keeps swaying around, and I thought it was like a bug crawling on my monitor for a second, but no, that's a part of the video, and it freaked me the fuck out. You can aid me, truly? If you need my aid, come to my field through the mirror of reality. All right, uh, let's go check in on Kareen. Oh. Okay. A giant, gorgeous mirror that seems to possess the aura of the Anemo Goliath. Ah! Well, here she is. Let's talk. Human. Thank you for breaking the seal Corrine placed upon me. I was able to wake up from the dream within a dream. Alas, Corrine has stolen the Cloudworm. But you defeated her and returned the Cloudworm. Perhaps this is what Luca meant when speaking of destiny. So the cloud worm is indeed yours? You must know how to remove it. The cloud worm does not belong to me. It has the same powers of realization as I do. I merely created it in Luca's place. The cloud worm is a Himi Goliath, designed by Luca herself. So. My understanding of it is... incomplete. Even if I could remove it now, I cannot guarantee your safety. With knowledge of the experiment by which your souls were fused, mayhaps I could use that information to safely separate you two once and for all. Alas... Only Karine knows the technique. Then... I still must devour her? To devour the memories of such a powerful soul, you must first unwrap your own. It carries great peril. If the Cloud Worm is given full soul power in such a state, it may have heed your commands. Or devour you instead. Ooh, that sounds like a fun gamble. However, to help you seal the cloud worm and put it into a deeper sleep, as Kareen once did to me, that should be possible. This method can allow you to live your life as a human. A chance remains where I could still wake up. Those two methods are how I can help you. But the choice is yours to make. Of course, you can also choose to remain as you are. I must consider this. Little time is left. I will return to the dream again to repair the Sky Palace and myself. Atmos, Goliath of Anemo, please help me seal the demon inside me. Have you made up your mind? Yes, yes. Yes. After sealing it, I will continue searching for a method to rid myself of it completely. With such a change, you will lose the ability to crystallize. And it may take long for you to acclimate. Let us begin. I will guide you into your soul field. You will need to face the demon yourself. If you can defeat it, I will handle the ceiling. Demon! I can finally face you! Let's do it! Oh, contact damage, right? Oh, 
Oh wow. Ow. I don't care. Dude. You're nothing. You're dead. You're gone. You're we're done. Hey, now we're walking around like people. Neat. So you may have noticed, we have two other options available to us. This one was the dream. Cool. My child, ah. time for you to wake up. No! Let's see, sweet dreams are made of this? Is the subtext for that achievement. Pretty neat. Alright, let's go back. So that was ending... Let's see... Seven. Let's do ending eight. Atmos, have you yes. Oh wait, no, no, oh, damn it. Demon. Hang on, sorry, I fucked up. Good thing this guy is so very now, killable. Need MP. There we go. Damn, I thought we were gonna, I thought I had a whole bunch of dialogue to skip. So, yep, there's the ending a second time. Yay, we're human. Oh, we can access the map? What the shit? We fucked it up. I hit the select button. Oh God. Is it gonna let us stop? No, it's not. Okay, back to title. <laughs> we broke the game, guys. We broke the game. Hitting the map button during a cutscene breaks the game. Understood. All right. Nine, 11 minutes. We'll get one more ending. Atmos, Goliath, have you made up your mind? Wait just a minute. Atmos, have you made up your mind? Atmos, have you made up your mind? Oh, I can just leave. I can just straight up, like, go. Cool. Invade. Karen, just tell me all the secrets you know. And I promise you will return to the Sea of Souls. Otherwise, you leave me no choice but to wipe you out of this world, as you well know. It's useless hiding in your soul field. Even though I can't get in through your body, my demons can still pull your soul back to reality. Well... If you must remain silent, I shall see your secrets myself. Into the soul field. Oh God. Child. Ah. Finally, you, Karen. Kareen. Me, 
This imprint won't get lost again. Huh. The hell? Hey. <laughs> My chest hurts. Where is this place? You have my code, and also the power to manipulate souls. That's why you can enter the Sea of Souls awake. Huh? Be not afraid, for I am also you. I won't hurt you, since I requested that Karen create you. Karine. Or is it Karen? It's both now, I guess. Fuck. Uh, this feeling... It's you. The filthy transcendent one. And here I think... So the soul Karen used to create me... Actually came from you. Now I understand. Karen is no more than your puppet. <laughs> she induced me to devour her. Just to make sure I would unwrap my soul. Yes, my child. Only if you unwrap your soul at the entrance to the Sea of Souls will I be able to truly touch you. Please don't touch me. I don't like you. But I can't be transcendent by myself, even though they always call me that. Now I'm just Isas, an ordinary human trapped in the sea. So you induced this curse of endless pain onto me? Why? For what? Energy? War? Power? For all this, you... You forced me to witness myself devour other people's souls? I know what they said to you, but you misunderstand. None of that really means anything compared to your birth. Only by the perfect merging of all souls can the human race evolve into what it truly should be. A greater being. You just don't know what you possess yet, and that makes you miserable. You are a part of me, and will soon be one with me again. And then, you will finally understand. No, I won't! Yeah, no. No, we won't. Time for a fight? Time for a fight. What is your attack? Oh god. Wind, okay. Ow. Doing wind again? Fire this time. Alright. Worth it. I still underestimated Luca's creation. In the Sea of Souls, the Cloud Worm is so mighty and destructive. Even my body. I was... Why does my strength seem to never drain? There was even a time when I felt the demon had disappeared. 
It's no use. I've created a sea of my own soul here. Even if you destroy my body innumerable times, it will only feed the ceaseless loop. Calm yourself. I said I wouldn't hurt you, for we'll eventually become one. Hey, no, stop it. <clears throat> what have you done to me? I've left an imprint of the sea of my soul onto you. It built a bridge that connected to the new world as soon as you came in. The imprint is the key. I will give it to you, and when time comes, I'll leave this place through the bridge as well. And then, you and I, the Essentials and the Ode, all humans, we will become one together and be freed from this cage. This gilded cage. We will build our own paradise before Luca returns. Together? Become one? No. Only bound can our souls break through the chains forced upon us by Luca, and escape our fate to sink silently into the sea at last. But at what cost? To be your marionette, and be manipulated just like the members of the Ode? To do what is right, a soul only requires one will. I will keep your memories and let you live your life as you deem. But before the destiny of the entire human race, we need to be united. And I will lead you to happiness myself. But you have no right to impose on anyone your so-called happiness. You gave me the Cloud Worm as a gift, which has been nothing but a curse to me. What's the difference? I will never force someone to sacrifice themselves for the greater good as you do. Stop your meaningless caprice. Huh? Hey, that's us in the black cloak, but what the hell is going on? Making crystals. For some reason. The waiting. All right, that's all we've got time for today. End Garden is doomed and there's nothing I can do. All right, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna double check what we need to do to finish this game, hopefully in the next recording. Uh, definitely by the end of the week. So I'll, hopefully I'll see you there. And, um, you know, in the meantime, I do hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. Safe and healthy, thank you very much. Uh, also check out the description of this video for a link to the Free Time Creators Collective. It's a little group of us that's, uh, there's, uh, let's see, uh, 41 of us now? Holy shit. Um, and we're just growing. We're a nice little small channel community. And uh, you're more than welcome to stop by as long as you're not a dick. So um, hopefully we see you there if you're not a dick. Hopefully I see you in the next episode or two if that's how long it takes to beat the game. And hopefully you have a good one.